Sabadi Krat, and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Wednesday, November 15th. Now, here's the news you need to know. A python three and a half meters long and weighing about 10 kilos was rescued at Sapanhin last night after the snake became stuck while exiting a drain manhole cover in the footpath. It took Kusadam rescue workers about 20 minutes to pull out the snake, which was found protruding from a drain cover near the entrance to the Sapanhin area. The 10 kilo snake is expected to be released into the wild at a non-hunting area in Talang. And one person is dead after a pickup truck carrying migrant Myanmar workers in the tray overturned on the bypass road during rush hour this morning. The accident happened on the southbound lane of the bypass road at about 8.20 a.m. and it left eight people strewn along the busy road, one of whom was pronounced dead at the scene. Seven people were taken to Vashida Phuket Hospital, including the driver. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And a Phuket police officer is currently receiving treatment for mental health issues at a hospital in Suratani as officials confirmed that they are still investigating a shooting incident that happened while he was on his way there. Lieutenant Corporal Rongre Jarrigam was charged on multiple counts including attempted murder with a firearm back on October 28th when he and his family stopped at a petrol station in Talang and reports say he became distressed and he shot his pistol at the ground. That's when police say the bullet ricocheted and hit a passerby in the foot, but that person has since been released from the hospital, and police say it all happened as his family was taking the police officer to the psychiatric hospital in Suratani in the first place. After paying a 50,000 baht bail, the officer headed off for treatment where he currently remains, and police say that the hospital's diagnosis will be part of the evidence in the case. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Attempted murder, that's the latest charge being pressed against Dr. Yon Chiraknakon after he was caught driving over and dragging a security guard while drunk last week. Dr. Yon is also facing charges of reckless driving, a DUI, and defying official orders to undergo alcohol tests after he refused to take a breathalyzer following Friday night's incident that happened while he was leaving the public health ministry. In a press conference on Monday, Dr. Yon took full responsibility for his actions and apologized to the family of the victim. Meanwhile, the victim, 22-year-old security guard Somchai Yamdi, remains on life support after undergoing two rounds of brain surgery following the incident, in which he was run over, dragged, and pinned under the doctor's car. And a story out of Ayutthaya shows just how heinous some people can be as a 20-year-old woman is being investigated for allegedly pimping out her 15-year-old niece, forcing her to sleep with up to three men a day. The mother of the teenage girl left her with the relatives in Ayutthaya, thinking it was preferable to leaving her home alone since she worked many hours. The 20-year-old auntie, reports say, later forced the girl to sleep with men to make ends meet for the home, allegedly threatening violence and keeping all the money, which was about 500 to 3,000 baht a day. After the girl broke down and called her mother to tell the truth, the mother filed a report and the aunt, who goes by the name Joy, she was arrested along with one other person in a sting operation and now an investigation has been launched. And three of Thailand's richest families have been named on Asia's 50 richest families list by Forbes magazine, two of whom are in the top 10 most wealthy. With a net worth of 36.6 billion US dollars, the Jiravanon family are the richest in Thailand and fourth most in Asia thanks to their controlling state in the country's largest private company, the CP Group. The tenth most wealthy family in Asia is the Chira Tivat family, which controlled the Central Group with an estimated 19.3 billion US dollars, followed by the Uvidia family, whose Red Bull Energy drink empire it brings them just over 13 billion US dollars. Meanwhile, the most wealthy family in Asia, according to Forbes, 
are the Ambani's from India with the 44.8 billion US dollars whose ownership of Reliance Industries includes holdings in oil, gas and telecommunications companies. And that's it for Puka Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or the PukaNews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.